Hello everyone. In this lecture, I am going to explain you about match string alternatives. So here in this question, you are given two strings, word one and word two. Match the strings by adding letters in alternating orders. Starting with word one, if a string is longer than the other, append the additional letters onto the end of the matched string. Return the matched string. So here in this example one, they given word one equal to string a b z, word two equal to string p q r. So we need to show the output by matching those word one and word two like a p b q c r. So here we need to match two different strings and combine and we need to show the output. So for this, what is the logic behind it? I will explain clearly. So here first we need to take string builder. String builder it can it is a retrieval memory which can store the string which is having a mutable behavior. So first I will take string builder. String builder S B equal to new string builder. Okay, and here I will take int i equal to zero and j equal to zero, and here I will take int m equal to word one dot length and int n equal to word two dot length. Okay, so here I am mentioning. While i is less than m or j is less than n, then here if i is less than m, then what I am doing here? String builder dot append in this I will mention word one dot character h of i increment. And if j is less than n, then for this string builder, I will do append what to dot character h of j increment. And here in this written string builder dot to string. So here, what I what what I did you know? I just Create one string builder. In this, I initialize zero value to i and j. In this m and n variable, I just mention what one dot length and what two dot length. So in this range, I am start comparing by implementing while i is less than m or j is less than m. So for this, what I am doing, if i is less than m, then I am appending the appending to string string builder like what one dot character at i increment. So by implementing this logic, first first position of what one will be stored in string builder. And here, first position from what to also it will be stored in string builder like that. By implementing this logic, I am just merging this what one and what two strings into a single string. So finally, I am returning string builder to I am converting into a single string. So by doing this, I can merge two different uh, strings into a single string. So here, this is the logic. Now I will run this code. We'll see it will be accepted or not. Here it is showing some error. So here I didn't mention G. String builder. Yeah, it is accepted. Now I will submit this code. Yeah, success. So this is the logic. If you have any queries, you can mention your doubts in commentary session. And please do like and subscribe for more videos.